In this weekly horoscope, we'll cover all star signs. If you want, you can jump over to your sign by clicking on time link in the video description below. Where you'll also find a link where you can get your free personalized astrology report. If you'll like this video, please give it thumbs up. And subscribe to receive free weekly and monthly horoscopes. Gemini. This week's lunar eclipse which takes place on Friday 5th is powerful for you. It cuts across the Gemini, Sagittarius axis of the zodiac and personal sector of your horoscope. Ruling your identity and your relationships. The sun is in Gemini, your star sign, and the moon is in Sagittarius, your opposite star sign. This is about your one-to-ones, both personal and professional. It's about getting relationships right. If you're in a relationship that's not working out, expect hidden issues to emerge. In a professional partnership, this is potentially a competitive time or argumentative. Sometimes, events come out of the blue during an eclipse to trigger change. You might be in a triangle situation where you're vying against other people. Whether this is with regard to love or business. During a lunar eclipse, you often find that one person wins while another person loses. The trick is to act fast, to take advantage so you end up on the winning team. Note that your planet Mercury is pulled into the eclipse activity and Mercury's quick and clever. Use your cunning Gemini nature to act fast. Find out who's on your side. Communicate well and line up key allies to support whatever you want to do. If you already know you're in a significant period of change, don't hold on tight. It's a time to explore your options and embrace the new in your life. Especially with regard to relationships, work and money. Love planet Venus remains retrograde in Gemini, still passionate but in retreat. Relationships may be going through a strange phase now. Follow your natural instincts and do what feels right. It's important not to let other people control you or tell you what you can and can't do. Use the Sun-Venus conjunction on Wednesday 3rd to schmooze and charm instead. Cancer. The Sun remains in Gemini and the most hidden sector of your horoscope for another couple of weeks. Therefore, it's important that you create space in your life. To be quiet so you can listen to your subconscious, your inner voice. Relax, retreat, take a break, rethink your next steps. This is important because there's a lunar eclipse on Friday 5th which cuts across the work and health sectors of your chart. The sun in Gemini wants quiet and solitude, the moon in Sagittarius wants to be useful and of service to others. This eclipse will highlight where change is necessary. Whether this is with regard to your work and routine, your lifestyle, or your health. Focus on the basics of life and get these right before you start anything new. Create rules to live by that benefit you and adopt new healthy daily habits. Notice your hidden motivations too, find out who your enemies are, secret or otherwise. If you're the one plotting and planning, scheming away, ensure this is for sound reasons. Emotions will run high during this lunar eclipse and it would be easy to lose your temper. Note that other people will also be feeling this volatile, argumentative planetary energy. You may find it hard to express yourself succinctly. Yet, speaking up in a way that's logical and rational can help. You have Mercury, the planet of communication, in your star sign, Cancer. Therefore, you're the one who's talking sense. Yet, at times this week, it's best to keep your feelings to yourself. We are moving through a retrograde phase when things aren't settled or final. You may be retracing your steps or mulling things over. A close relationship could be unraveling or confusing. Bide your time if this is the case and don't try and sort everything out. Let things be. Wednesday 3rd to sprinkle some magic your way. Especially if you're meeting with people from your past. The Sun-Venus conjunction feels karmic and helping others works both ways. What you give you receive in return. If you want to open your heart to someone from your past. This is an ideal time to do so as long as you don't have any preset expectations. Leo. 
The lunar eclipse on Friday 5th lights up the social sectors of your horoscope. Like all full moons, this one focuses specifically on your relationships. In particular, the sun in Gemini highlights your friendship sector. People you associate with via groups, clubs, social get-togethers. The moon in Sagittarius links to children in your life, lovers, people you enjoy spending time with. This could indicate a big event for someone close to you or changes which need to be addressed. You may choose to step in and help someone close. Or, perhaps you are asked to rearrange a major event or get together, online or otherwise. During this eclipse, you could be reconsidering who's important to you. Who you want to spend time with and who you don't. If so, don't feel you have to act. We are in a key retrograde phase which lasts until mid-July. It's best to question rather than take action. Look after yourself and prioritize the people who are most important to you. Lean on the people in your life you trust. Also this week, love planet Venus remains retrograde in your friendship sector. Enjoy yourself with your friends and ensure that clear boundaries are in place. Keep money out of the equation if you can as this area of your life is heated. Steer clear of financial or emotional entanglements. And make intuitive moves with regard to your career, vocation, or future path. Virgo. This week's lunar eclipse on Friday 5th is powerful for you. Because it cuts across the foundations of your horoscope. The sun is in Gemini ruling your career and vocation, your future, and where you're heading in life. The moon is in Sagittarius ruling your home and family, your past and where you come from. There might be a clash between these two areas of your life. When you see clearly where you've come from, how you've developed, and where this has led you to. You might be juggling home and work matters or feel pulled between the two. Eclipses highlight change and bring what's hidden to light. Full moons can be emotional, also a time of clarity and insight. This is the start of a new eclipse cycle that often triggers changes to where you live. Your employment and the direction in which you're heading. Think on your feet and don't rely too heavily on other people this week. Your planet Mercury is active on the day of the eclipse and is a rational and innovative influence. This links to spontaneous decisions around travel or study, doing what you think is right. Also, gaining the counsel of your most trusted friends. Love could reach heady heights on Wednesday 3rd. When the sun unites with love planet Venus, even if Venus is retrograde. This flags up an encounter with an ex, a flame that continues to burn bright for someone from your past. One area that is a no-go zone is an affair with your boss. This would fit the astrological symbolism. But it would be a dangerous game to play with Venus in secretive mode. Once Venus is back up to speed late June, you could find that love and business don't mix. If you're in a relationship or married, Know that this eclipse is a power keg waiting to ignite. Mars is in Pisces and your relationship sector and clashes with Venus and the Sun. It's not a great time to address a sensitive issue. Prioritize what's important in your life. And this doesn't look like running around after the family or cleaning the house top to bottom. Right now, you have bigger goals to aim for. Libra. The key planetary activity is lining up towards the top of your horoscope. This is because the personal planets have their eyes on the future in your birth chart. Both the Sun and your ruler Venus are currently in air sign Gemini. And the sector of your horoscope which rules travel, study, the bigger picture. You might be making plans and looking ahead to what next. It's a good time to do so, even if you don't have the freedom you would wish for. The Sun-Venus conjunction on Wednesday 3th is a key date for you. A time to reach out to someone in a position of influence who can help you. This may be a teacher or guru. Or, a top business person. Whatever fits for you. This is about your beliefs, your philosophy on life. Your personal knowledge and understanding. You need an activity to lose yourself in, whether this is academic, spiritual, or philosophical. 
Consider where you find meaning and purpose in life. This will be a key aspect of this new eclipse cycle that continues until December 2021. During a full moon eclipse, you can be up against other people or a group that thinks differently to you. You might clash over politics, ethics, or religion. This could feel stressful as Mars clashes with your ruler Venus and the Sun. With Mars in Pisces, this is linked to your working life or daily routine. Also your lifestyle and health. Notice your stress levels and be kind to yourself. Scorpio. This could turn out to be a big week for you with regard to money and finances. This is primarily because of the lunar eclipse which takes place on Friday 5th and cuts across the money axis of your horoscope. The Sun is currently in Gemini ruling joint finances and shared resources. This includes all kinds of money matters and financial transactions. On the day of the eclipse, the Sun in Gemini opposes the Moon in Sagittarius and your personal money sector. This indicates a conflict over cash, opposing needs, different wants with regard to money and material matters. You might argue over money, especially if children are involved. Other people have their own agenda and it will be difficult to find a compromise. Especially when emotions are highly charged. This eclipse cycle brings a chance to shift your money mindset. Your values will be realigned over the next year and a half. Ensure you balance your head and your heart next weekend during the eclipse period. Engage your natural instincts before you invest your money, time, or emotions. Ideally, wait until mid-July before making any major investment. Sagittarius. The lunar eclipse takes place in your star sign Sagittarius on Friday 5th. Therefore, you know immediately that this is going to be an important event for you. This eclipse influences your personal goals and aims your image and profile and how you see the world. On the day of the eclipse, the moon opposes the sun in your opposite star sign, Gemini, bringing in people close to you, your one-to-ones. You might be up against opposition during the eclipse. Or, perhaps you're comparing yourself to other people's achievements. Either way, take a step back and use your logical brain to decide what next. Mars in Pisces represents your home and family. And this is where there could be arguments or opposite opinions. It's volatile planetary energy. Be assertive rather than aggressive and release strong emotions in a healthy fashion. Watch out for other people's tempers too. This eclipse could be powerful with regard to love or personal relationship. Eclipses represent endings and new beginnings. Events that happen trigger change. Whatever your current relationship situation. This new eclipse cycle promises drama and excitement. Or, at the very least, important lessons and learning around love and partnership. This could also be linked to a professional partnership. You might find something out that's not to your liking. And affects how you feel about someone you work with or associate with on a daily level. In essence, this is the time to reassess your one-to-ones as new information comes to light. Decide where your heart lies and firm up your boundaries around love and partnership. Finally, notice the Sun and Venus conjunction on Wednesday 3rd. Someone might return to your life to help you. Or, perhaps you engage with your partner or someone close on a deeper level. Capricorn. During the lunar eclipse on Friday 5th, the moon in Sagittarius highlights the most hidden sector of your horoscope. This links to your subconscious, your intuition, the side of your nature that likes to retreat, and be quiet. The sun in Gemini opposes the moon during the eclipse. And flags up the sectors of your horoscope connected to work and routine, your lifestyle, and health. This eclipse is about reassessing your life and looking at what works for you and what doesn't. Things to consider are your energy levels, your health, how much you give to others, the work you on a daily basis. Wherever you're flagging or you feel low or stressed, the eclipse will highlight where change is necessary. Sometimes, events happen out of the blue during an eclipse and show where change is needed. 
It may be an argument or conflict that triggers what next. It is volatile planetary energy, so be careful who you interact with. Love planet Venus is also on go slow in Gemini and meets up with the Sun on Wednesday 3rd. This indicates a private get-together or connecting with someone close on a deep level. It's a reminder that relationships are currently important to you. The Mercury-Uranus alliance on Friday 5th, the same day as the eclipse is about love and partnership too. Even when life gets busy, make time for others and meaningful connections. And, know who's there for you. Create healthy, supportive relationships in your life. You might be juggling your schedule in a crazy fashion trying to keep other people happy now. Do what you can but don't overgive. This is not the time to stress yourself out. Aquarius. The lunar eclipse on Friday 5th lights up the social sectors of your horoscope. The sun is in Gemini opposing the moon in Sagittarius. Who or what are you up against during this eclipse season? Where do you feel you belong and where do you feel left out? It may be that some people in your life don't appreciate you and this triggers an argument or debate. This new eclipse cycle is a time to consider your alliances and to reinvent your social circle. At the same time, recognize where your skills and talents are required and where you can make a name for yourself. When it comes to love, the eclipse flags up a complex picture. Gemini rules romance in your horoscope and a lunar eclipse is often about a triangle situation. If you're involved with someone who's not available, matters could come to a head. Or, perhaps there's an argument about money or where your values lie. Eclipses have a hidden theme and tend to bring what's hidden to light. Take a step back if tempers flare and avoid anyone whose anger is out of control. This is due to the clash with Mars which suggests a clash of beliefs, a falling out, an argument. Be careful what you say and don't speak in haste. Love planet Venus is also in Gemini but retrograde. If you're looking for love, think second chances or try again with someone it didn't work out with the first time around. Wednesday 3rd could bring something special your way when Venus and the Sun unite. Yet, this isn't about commitment or making a big relationship move. Instead, it's about keeping love light, examining your feelings closely, and reassessing what you want. The Mercury-Uranus aspect on Friday 5th, the same day as the eclipse is significant for you. Uranus is your ruling planet in Taurus and your home and family sector. Listen out for new innovations that can boost your work or health, your home, or family life. Keep things rational and sane. Pisces. The lunar eclipse on Friday 5th lights up the foundations of your horoscope. This eclipse cycle is about your home, family, and your past, also your career, vocation, and your future. These are the areas where you're likely to experience significant change over the next 18 months. You might feel that home and family are dominating your life now. And this makes it difficult to pursue your own goals, your vocation in life. If you know the balance is out for you, play around with new ideas. Yet, know that Mars is currently in Pisces and clashes with key planets this week. It's pulled into the full moon eclipse which is already emotional. There could be a big argument at the weekend or a falling out. Be assertive but don't lose your temper completely or go over the top. If things do come to a head, at the very least. See what life is telling you and decide what steps you can take to move things in the right direction. Talk planet Mercury is currently in Cancer, the sign of communication, and the voice of rationality. It is important to talk up, to say what's on your mind, to discuss what's troubling you. Other people may be involved, your children, or a lover. You might need to make some wise moves that prioritize them. Love planet Venus is also in Gemini and currently retrograde. You may be pulled back towards the past or take a trip down memory lane. Love could be in the ascendancy with the re-emergence of a childhood sweetheart or someone you loved and lost. Take your time if this is the case and don't rush into love. Enjoy yourself, reconnect, and take the pace slow. 
The same applies to a child or grandchild. You're wise to advise them not to rush into a major decision. Although choose your timing carefully. This might not go down well at the weekend. The Sun-Venus connection on Wednesday 3rd is lovely for a reunion or connection. Either that or a quiet night at home with the one you love. And a chance to close the door on the world for a while longer. Aries. The lunar eclipse on Friday 5th cuts across the Gemini-Sagittarius axis of the zodiac. And the sectors of your horoscope link to study and education, travel and communication. It's in these areas of your life where you may find it harder than usual to come to an agreement or decision. Watch out for conflicting needs or opinions which block understanding. If you're in doubt about what to do next, don't rush into anything. This is a key retrograde phase in the year which lasts until mid-July. Gemini is your communication sector. It rules all forms of communication, including written and spoken word and transport. In addition, this part of your horoscope is about people, your local community, your siblings, and neighbors. So, this isn't a time to be alone or quiet. Instead, you're being pulled into the world, whether to connect with others for social reasons, to help or for more practical matters. Know that Mars, your ruling planet, is currently hidden away in Pisces. And the most sensitive sector of your horoscope. Therefore, you might not be ready to get back out or take part in social activities. It's important that you do what's right for you. And don't allow yourself to be pushed into action or behavior that goes against what you believe in or what's good for you. This week's astrology flags up the need to ask other people for advice and support. Or, let the people close to you make some of the key decisions. You're not in pole position now so hand over the reins to people you trust. People close to you who can help you out. This includes a partner, someone who's more than capable of stepping in and taking charge. Let them lead the way. Finally, love planet Venus unites with the Sun on Wednesday 3rd. This is the day to reach out to someone close. Perhaps someone from your past or a sibling or neighbor and have a meaningful connection. Taurus. The lunar eclipse on Friday 5th lights up the money sectors of your horoscope. The sun is in Gemini ruling your personal money. And the moon is in Sagittarius ruling joint finances and shared resources. This is a time when you're wise to consider your financial situation carefully. Security is important to you, both financial and emotional. Therefore, if you're currently undergoing a period of change with regard to money matters. You may experience some feelings of worry or instability during the eclipse period. Emotions often run high during eclipses, especially the full moon eclipse. And, with angry Mars clashing with the Sun and Venus, your ruler, this week, tempers could flare. This may arise from an issue with a friend. Or, perhaps you have different ideas or opinions to your friends or a group in which you're involved. You could feel enraged by what's happening within society. If you or someone close don't see eye to eye when it comes to money. This isn't the best time to start an important negotiation. If anything, tempers could flare and differences of opinion could push you and someone close further apart. Keep working away on your own money schemes and dreams for now and leave other people out of the equation. However, it can't be denied that eclipses do promise change. Keep your options open during the eclipse. Yet, at the same time don't ignore any warning signs which crop up. If you already know that your financial situation is changing, be bold, and plan ahead. Your ruler, Venus, is currently retrograde in Gemini in your personal money sector. And this can be a time of delays or frustration. It's not the time to make a major purchase or investment. Instead, wait and see what happens and keep your options open until the end of June or even mid-July if possible. This doesn't mean that nice things won't happen now. In fact, when the Sun and Venus unite in Gemini on Wednesday 3rd, Help could arrive in the shape of a gift or kindness. This combination indicates that what you give, you receive in return. 
Look out for someone coming into your life, a benefactor, or a fairy godmother. And, if you feel so inspired, reach out to help someone close. We hope that you liked this video. If yes, please give it like. And don't forget to get your personalized astrology report today by following a link in the video description below. And subscribe to receive free weekly and monthly horoscopes. Thank you for attention, see you next time.